have a right click, just let me choose an item here. For sure you should choose an item. Let me have a right click here, add new user data type. And then let's go to the last tab. Here you add it. If you add it, actually you will see a new tab here in the name of user data, which is really practical. And I can have a right click on it. And in this part, you can see some other items. Let me click on rename tab. You know, the name of that actually is user data. Let me change it. Oh, let me just, as an example, name it custom information. And it will be added here. So when can you use it, actually? Let me just tell it to you. So actually, when you get some files from other people, from other softwares, and you're as BIM coordinate there, and you want to check the model or no, just as a kind of manager, you want to have some items for yourself. The information that you can see in the tabs uh, might, might be just flaw. And actually, they are not complete. Or you might just uh, want to add some information that can help you in the future. And you want to consider some features for it. So what we do is to make a new tab in the name of custom information. So you have to be careful that this custom information is just for this column. And if you look at, for example, other items like this, uh, they don't have the information that you want. This is just for one element because it shows that one. So if you have right click, you will see some icons again. That's so clear. If you want to delete something, you can just add, uh, click on delete user data tab. But here, insert new property. You know, to each one, we can, uh, we can give or add one property. For example, in ID, this is the property, or in category, this is the property again, and there are the values of that. And then you will come here. Uh, excuse me, I think I deleted that. Uh, yes, unfortunately, I deleted that. Sorry about it. So, yes, let me bring it again. Uh, and as you can see, again, I can have a right click on it and see some items here. You know, string is used when you want to just add one text to that. Uh, just you know for example you want to add a text in value part as just an example uh, I want to just write in proper the story of that and in value or for example I want to write story 4 or fourth story or I don't know type 1 type 2 it should be a text actually the next item in the name of boolean is used when you want to say yes or no if you pay attention here for some features for example in tabs for example, here, as you can see, is, uh, is tag category and the item is no. Or, for example, here, is cardable. We see yes in front of that. You know, we have some features here. Or, for example, in document, as you can see, is detached is no, is linked is no. Or, for example, is modified is uh, yes here. Or, for example, display unit system is metric. This is the same string. Or here, show mask by view settings. This is related to string. So here, if I want to use just true fonts icons, I can use this item. The next item is used when you want to have point for numbers. Imagine that, uh, for example, I want to just add uh, something that a number that has point, for example, as I told. For example, 10.5, 20.5. Or even you can add 20 or 30, yes, sometimes you want to have just some numbers like this. But the next item is used just for the numbers that uh, don't have any points, yes. For example, let me choose a string here. And then here I can just uh, give a name to that. Every name you can choose for it. And then if you have a double click on value, you can see a window like this. Or just let me do something else. I have a right click on the name of property and then I go for and I will go and rename property and just let me change the name. Um, for example, explanation, just let me name it. And I can have some explanations about that for myself. Like, for example, the third floor clock column that just I can write as a kind of definition for myself. For example, I can just name it the third uh, floor column with due attention to the uh, location of that has got some torsion allele. 
You can have every explanation that you need for yourself for it. Just um, so this is called the string. You can just add a text to that. And then if I have a right click again, and then let's go for the next item. And then I will choose a name for it. For example, I will just call it metal. And the, again, I will just choose another boolean here in the name of concrete. So for metal, I will choose no. For for concrete, I will just have double click and I will choose yes. So because the true false icon has just two options, if you just have double click every time, you will choose the choices to yes or no. So the next item is float. They told you that we cannot point for the numbers. And uh, just as an example, I can uh, give a name again to it uh, for, for example, covers of rebars. And then here, for example, I can give a number like uh, 30.50, for example. You know, as I told you before, just we can have points and also integers, yes? Just for example, I can just give it 40 here now. Or for example, 35, 35.65. But if I go an icon of integer, it will be just integer. I mean, it won't accept any points from you in the numbers. Just for example, as an example, I can write here or type here the longitudinal rebar, the number of longitudinal rebars, for example. Or for example, I can say the number of stirrups here. Uh, you know, you should just understand it. Uh, just for example, for the number of longitude, longitudinal uh, rebars, we don't have 20.5. Yes, you should know it is an integer. For example, for example, I give it eight here or nine, or the number of stirrups, for example, 20. I can't give a point to them. It will just give me a kind of warning here. Uh, so we ourselves can add some custom information to. Uh, this window for ourselves to use.